we have one quite interesting question that uh, Mubashir Sahiba, Jazakallah for this question, and she asks, is there any truth to astrology, numerology, and palmistry? So we often hear, particularly in the West, of these, the, these kind of concepts of, of astrology and kind of star signs and the movement of celestial bodies and how that impacts on uh, you know, some kind of religious teaching. Um, Ibrahim Saab, perhaps you can maybe uh, elucidate on the subject. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, the question is an interesting question. And, um, of course, in any science, there's always some substance or some basis to some facts to it. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, um, prior to my embracing Islam and becoming a Muslim, I mean, friends of mine used to delve in these things. And I used to see friends of mine um, whose hands would be read and, and they would, something would come out of it. There would be something of the future, the present and the past. Um, I myself, uh, many years ago, had, we were sitting in groups of friends who read cards and, and it, something did come out. Um, amazingly. Uh, but I, I would say that f from my observation of people who do this, um, what, what we have to understand that where they, there may be truth only in the sense that there's a, a method that they have used to find a way to tell the future, and that could be by probing questions or, or I mean, for example, take numerology, for example. That, that is done by numbers. That is done by taking your name uh, from an alphabet and then putting a number to it, and then according to each number, uh, there is a description of a character. I mean, that's, that is uh, basically taking a chance. In other words, you're, you're just mm -hmm. taking a chance that this may be your character. In fact, all these three things are about leading, how to help or tell people how to lead their lives. And uh, so, I mean, the, you may get something out of it. But from a, a religious point of view, uh, again, we find in the Bible and clearly in the Quran that God Almighty has warned mankind that they, that in these games of chance that there is some advantage but the evil is greater so god has advised us allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has advised us to keep away from these things and only put this trust in him so um i'm sure many muslims or even christians or, or jews or or any religious person would be amazed to see a person putting cars down and telling them something and they would be taken back but to kind of live your life to that and depend on that would be wrong. I mean, I've seen friends of mine who've lived their life like that. Mm. So, I mean, there is some truth in it only in the basis of the method they use. Mm. But what is a divine method? It wouldn't be. I mean, if I just say it very quickly, yes. that um, as a matter of just a uh, sense of humor into this, I once used to pass a, a psychic's office every day and used to be advertised that we can tell the future. And I remember after a number of weeks, I saw for, for close, for sale sign. I actually wanted to go to the person and say, could you not tell the future that you were going to close down? But <laughs> so, <laughs> we, we've got very little time left. Imam Sadr, do you want to touch on the subject? I mean, these are, these are perhaps um, uh, teachings that we see that perhaps lack substance. Well, I think actually if we say that uh, there are related to, for example, the stars, a, a knowledge about that and also the finger, uh, these... Uh, the palm, palms, palm you know, in the lines yes. and all that. Actually, this verse of the Holy Quran should also be in our mind. Allah Almighty says, Ma khalaqta That nothing has been created in this world without any purpose. Look at the star, if we take that example. Stars are heavenly bodies, very useful, and they are the means of uh, finding the right direction, calculating the time as well. In olden days, people before the watches, they used to calculate yes. the time as well. And also, it has been mentioned in the Holy Quran in very, 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 many, in so many ways. So these are the things which have been created by God. What does, how do they impact people? That may be something there. Mm -hmm. Information is obtained from there. Mm -hmm. The thing is, if the right information is given, and sometime Allah Almighty sh makes them the means of showing certain signs, mm -hmm. like the shooting stars and the other. Yes. So that is something very good. Yes. But apart from that, those people who just claim that, well, we know everything yeah. about that, that is just a matter okay. of chance. Jazakallah. Yeah. I'm I sorry, think it's an unfinished answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we've run out of yes. time. Okay. But Jazakallah to the panel yes. for your very scholarly answers. And Jazakallah to you, the viewers, for joining us today. I hope, inshallah, you can join us for future programs. Uh, just as a quick reminder, if you would like to send in your questions, the email address is faithmatters at mta.tv 
or if you prefer to fax, the international fax number is plus four four two zero eight six eight seven eight zero three seven. Jazakallah and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.